Hello everyone, this is Watson. In this video, we're going to talk about a PoE adapter. So what is a PoE adapter? A PoE adapter is also known as a PoE injector. A PoE injector receives the data from our main network or from a PoE switch, and then it will add power to it. It is a power supply itself, it adds power to the data, and then it will be able to transmit PoE signals through its PoE port. So this is the basic function of a PoE adapter. So PoE adapters are usually seen in two occasions. First occasion is when we have a PoE system set up already, like a PoE switch, but we have too many IP devices connected to it and there is one particular power hungry device. This device will need a high power consumption. So this high power consumption cannot be satisfied from the PoE switch. What do we do? Well, we can add a PoE injector between the PoE switch and the PoE de IP device. Let's say like a PTZ camera. We can add this right after we use an Ethernet cable to connect the PoE switch to the PoE injector. And the PoE injector will inject power, a new set of power to the signal and provide it to our PO PTZ camera there. In that case, it has an isolated set of power supply and usually will be able to solve the problem. Then the next occasion is when we have a regular network. Like our household routers, those routers provide us a local area network, but it is only a regular network. It does not have PoE features throughout the network. This is because a router itself is only a transmitter. It does not provide us with power providing solutions. So if we want to add like one or two PoE IP devices in our home network, we would need to upgrade our network to a PoE network first. If we're gonna get a switch, a PoE switch, sometimes it's not really worth it because we're not gonna use that many PoE IP devices. So we can just use a PoE injector. And depending on what kind of PoE IP device we need, we can choose different, different power outages. So we can choose 30 watts, 60 watts, even 95 watts. Just depends. And just like our first solution, first occasion, we just add a PoE injector right after we can right after our router. So the router would provide the data, and the PoE injector injects power to it, and then sends out PoE signals to our IP devices. It's pretty easy. So there is one more situation when we need to use a PoE adapter. It is kind of quite different from those first two. This is when your PoE IP device is a non-standard PoE device, which is also known as a passive PoE device. A passive PoE device is a device that does not have the working voltage range as a PoE, a standard PoE device. A standard PoE device works in a voltage range from 33 volts up to 55 volts. As long as your IP device will work at the same voltage and it's PoE enabled, your PoE, it can add to the PoE system and the PoE power sourcing equipment will provide power to it. But if you're like one of these wireless network bridges, it is a PoE enabled device, but it is not a standard PoE device. It is a passive PoE device. It works on a 12 volt power. So if you want to let this add to your PoE system or use or set this up like the way you set up a PoE device just with one Ethernet cable, you're gonna need a power adapter like this. This is a 12 volts PoE adapter. So this 12 volts PoE adapter, also known as 12 volts PoE injector, will receive the data from the LAN port here and then provide 12 volts PoE signals from the PoE port right here. So pretty easy known. This is the passive PoE would need a specially set of voltage for their adapter. So they can add to the PoE system. Now that is basically some features and applications for our PoE adapters. Now let's take a look at our fast cabling uh, uh, devices. So our fast cabling carries a few kind of PoE injectors. This is our fast cabling's 30 watts and also the 60 watts look like this as well. This is a desktop PoE injector. This, you can just put it on your desktop and inject power to any IP device you wish. And 30 watts to 60 watts can power up very medium sized IP devices. So make sure you choose it if you want a convenient power injector. 
And this one here, a bigger one, this is a high power 90, 95 watts PLE injector. This is mostly used for more high power devices like PTZ cameras. And this one right here, these two are the same size. So you can imagine they have the same power output, but this one is much more special. This one is a high power 10 gigabit, 10 gigabit PoE injector. So it provides us with high power, yes, but also has a very special feature. It can carry the bandwidth up to 10 gigabits per second. So this one is mostly used when you have those wireless access points, which will have like hundreds of users connected to it at the same time. Maybe in the large public location like a stadium or airports, you would need to let your network be able to process a big amount of users accessing it. So this 10 gigabit bandwidth would be a very good solution when you use it for an access point. All right, so that's basically uh, the main products of our fast cabling PoE injectors. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them at the section below. Thank you guys for watching today, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.